Made in NYC is an initiative of the Pratt Center for Community Development to encourage local production and local sourcing. We do it to create jobs in New York and we do it because it's more environmentally sustainable. The Pratt Center is a part of Pratt Institute. We were set up about 50 years ago as part of the School of Architecture and Planning to help community groups to rebuild their neighborhoods. Over the past 10 years, we've grown in a lot of different ways, particularly around encouraging a more diverse economic base and a more sustainable economy. We work with manufacturers directly. We also try and strengthen the whole supply chain, running from the architects and the designers uh, to the manufacturers and strengthen those links between design and production. Sure, there's a tremendous amount of manufacturing going on here. There's well over 70,000 jobs in production in New York City, well over 6,000 businesses. There used to be more, and it's kind of eclipsed because New York is such a big city and the financial services sector and the real estate sector and entertainment are all bigger than manufacturing is today, but manufacturing is absolutely necessary to support those other sectors. The manufacturing sectors become kind of invisible because it's relatively small and because a lot of it is in outlying areas. But virtually everything is made in New York still, whether it's shoes or apparel or food or metalworking or woodworking. You can get virtually anything made in New York City, particularly high-end, customized, very design-oriented production can be done here. Is it more expensive? In many instances it is, but on the other hand, there's a lot. You, it offers a lot more control over the production process. There's a lot less waste. You can work with your customers in a much more intimate way. They can see the product being made and they can make changes during the production process. So in a way, it's a very, very efficient way to operate. One other advantage of doing business in New York for a producer and a designer is being close to the customer base. And what I think that does for the economy as a whole is it facilitates or it expedites the cycle of in innovation. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see what the customers are demanding today, you can design for it, you can get it into production, and you can get it right out into the marketplace. And then you can see the response from your consumer base. And that, by bringing all those components together, that really speeds up the cycle of innovation. In some ways, the history of New York has always been around um, customized production that's very, very integrated into the operations of the consumer, of the client company. Um, you know, the field is changing rapidly. Technology is innovating rapidly. Materials are changing rapidly. So there's always a need to keep upgrading the equipment. There's always a need to keep retraining the workforce. But I think all those things are going on if the manufacturers appreciate that there's the demand and the opportunity is here. So it's, so it's really important to bring the design community and the manufacturing community together.